She knows her name. She gets really excited. Watch. Watch this. <gasps> Zoe! Okay, we're rolling. We are rolling. 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 Uh, hey, 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 what do you say? Hey, Jude. Do I look okay? I didn't check my hair. Hey, you guys. Aaron, Dusty, and <laughs> Zoe here, and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. If yes. it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. Be sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yep. Check below in the link in the description, and you will find a wealth of amazing resources. First yes. and foremost, our seven-day free video course that's a health transformation so guide good. to help you feel better in your body yep. and currently only for a couple days more the plant-based bundle where you can get 100 plus plant-based resources for only 50 dollars i wish this would have been out when we started <laughs> right but if it's you epic. guys are starting out or if you're a veteran this is so so worth it it only comes around twice a year and there's only a couple days left so don't delay and when you buy the plant-based bundle you'll also get automatically entered to win a 500 dollars vitamix blender or nama juicer yes when you purchase the bundle through our specific link it will be gifted from dusty and i as a thank you to you guys for right. supporting us for supporting yourselves, honestly. Yes, it's something we like to do to encourage you guys to invest in yourself. So today we wanted to share with you guys three unpopular <laughs> opinions that we hold that yes. are honestly holding us back. Right. Might be holding you guys back. Yes. These are phrases that we have used and abused over the years in yep. the past that got us into a rut. Phrase number one, everything in moderation. My answer to that, moderation sucks. We know that might be a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> it even was for the both of us. I personally have more than one friend who I feel like used to say everything in moderation, everything in moderation. And now more than one of these friends has had terrible health outcomes. In fact, one of them had a heart attack two Christmases ago and now has suffered some severe brain damage. And another one is has been struggling on and off with addiction basically since we were super duper young. So the more and more Aaron and I age, the more we reflect on that term that we all know, like everything in moderation. And we're like, you know what? That term sucks because so many people either abuse it or they don't really use moderation it becomes yeah. a very slippery slope i'll confess that i was very guilty of using the phrase everything in moderation especially in my college days for sure but to be honest when i would go out once a week and get yep. fast food at my favorite local restaurant <laughs> that was my everything in moderation but right. eventually that turned into twice every weekend and right. then every other night and so on and so forth it's kind of a snowball effect Moderation definitely has a sliding scale to it. Yep. One person's idea of moderation is another person's idea of extremity. So it's a sliding scale, it's a slippery slope. If you're not careful, your version of moderation will continue to increase until you look back and in hindsight, you'll recognize, wow, I'm pretty extreme now. You know what, Aaron and I have talked about this before and more in terms of like drinking. In fact, I think we actually made a video specifically about drinking. We both have younger brothers who are now sober because their moderation turned into a problem. And I'll say this, I spend months here in Florida without having like any alcohol at all. And then we go home and Aaron's dad will hand me a beer or my buddies invite me to golf like they did just last week when we were home and then it's the 4th of July and I allowed myself this last week to say, yeah, cool, I'll have a beer, you know, I'll do this. But before you know it, it was like three or four nights in a row that I had had more than a couple beers and I felt lousy. I still feel like drained and tired and I didn't sleep great. I didn't feel great. And now I'm back home wishing that I would have done better. What has helped me tremendously is to 100% abstain from alcohol. Right. I have not even drank a sip of alcohol since before Max was born. Right. So well over six years now. Mm -hmm. And I have never felt better. I go to bed at night with the confidence that I am not going to have a hangover or right. feel groggy the next day. We go back and forth with people on, do you need to be 100% plant-based? Our moms especially, talking about just being back home, our moms sometimes look at us cross-eyed when we are strict with the kids and what they're eating. 
making sure that they stay on a, yes, a strict plant-based diet, at least while they're young. We've talked about letting them, you know, try different foods as they age. But right now, like Erin just said, it's almost easier to just have a title, just to know what you do. Similar to my brother and Aaron, they say no to alcohol, no question about it. And I'm jealous because I'm learning how I feel when I practice moderation. I would rather just abstain completely, whether it's alcohol, whether it's animal products. We have freedom because we have a framework to work within. Life is honestly a little bit easier. It's way easier when you don't have to question every decision you make. Popular opinion number two, just live a little. <laughs> <laughs> so we hear this all the time, you guys, whether it's again in person with friends, with family, or yes, even here on our YouTube channel, people are always saying, why don't you live a little or let your kids live a little? We've actually come to realize that we don't want to live a little. Right. We want to live a lot. Yeah. My cousin always had these cheat days and right. that drove me nuts. I'm like, why yeah. can't you just be healthy every day? Why do you put so much emphasis on your cheat days and right. how much you love them? That makes me feel like you're torturing yourself on the other days. Right. <laughs> we are not living a little. We are in fact living a lot. We so enjoy our daily activities, our physical fitness, the way we rest as a family, and yes, the way we eat. The kids love the way we eat. I love the way we eat. Since we went plant-based, started exercising, started eating, moving, and resting our best, honestly, yeah. we have mitigated so much illness and yep. so much dis-ease in our household. Yep. And that's not to say that this is a diet or lifestyle of invincibility. That does not exist. Right. And we always make sure to humble ourselves. But at the same time, we feel proud and honored to say yep. that, yes, this has definitely helped us to live a lot. So we want to be able to share that with everybody so that they can have the opportunity to hear this information and apply it for themselves. Going back to last week at home with family, every time I decided to live a little, I literally woke up feeling smaller. Like if that makes sense, I'm like, I feel lousy. I feel tired. I feel like I've got a stomach ache or indigestion. I was having heartburn because I was eating greasy food. And it's like, wow, every time I live a little, I feel like I am actually living a lot less of a robust, healthy, energizing, like I'm just less alive. Finally, popular opinion numero tres. Yes. What was it? <laughs> I've tried everything or I'm doing my best. This is something that we aren't saying necessarily to you guys, but honestly to ourselves. There was a point in my life many years ago where I thought that I was doing my best. I was giving effort for sure, but I knew deep down that I wasn't doing my actual real best and I therefore wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. I was on two medications for acid reflux and indigestion. I just felt lousy. I was anxious. I was depressed. I had all of these things that were just out of whack, but I would go and I would work out, I would run, I would ride my bike. Aaron and I were eating what we thought was healthy. We weren't eating anywhere near as healthy as we are eating now. But I was upset because I thought I was doing my best and I had tried everything to the point where now I had surrendered and decided to take the pills to fix, you know, my ills and it was a lie. I think something that we realized is employing help and surrounding yourself by a support system right. really truly showed us. It was like a reflection. So first yeah. and foremost, I have an example. After giving birth to Max and struggling with like strength and toning and sculpting, I told my brother and Dusty, who are both you know, my sounding boards. <laughs> I've tried everything. I just cannot seem to figure it out. I've done bar, I've done right. spinning, I've done running, right. I've done hit classes, I've done yoga. And both of them are like, but you've never touched a weight. Right. And even if I had, I hadn't really given it my all. Right. So I did a couple of training sessions with these two fellas, yep. my brother and Dusty. And the next day, I literally could not walk for like two weeks. <laughs> My legs were so sore. Yep. And I'm like, wow, now I realize I am so much more capable of 
way more than I thought I could be. Yep. And so it actually spurred me to try harder on my own because I knew I was capable of more than I was putting forth. That actually reminds me that just a couple days ago back in Nebraska, I met one of my buddies at the gym. Ryan is about four inches taller than me, way stronger. We were benching. <laughs> And you know he was putting up a bunch of weight, and I'm stronger than I've ever been, so I felt really good about myself. And so you know I put plates on, and then I put a ten on, and then he was like, "You're gonna throw another 25 on each side," and I laughed at him. And he goes, "No, seriously, we're gonna do it," and I did it. And I had never benched that much in my life, and it felt amazing. And here I was, you know, like Aaron said, sometimes you need a sounding board. Sometimes you need a community or even just one other person to say, look, dude, you actually can do better. You can work harder and I'm going to prove it to you right now. You're going to prove it to yourself. And that was really exciting. With our business and our growth right. and not being so scared of making money, making a living, providing for our families, right. allowing ourselves the ability to be able to stay at home with our children, to homeschool, to do all of these things together as a unit. We have secured that for ourselves, right. but it doesn't just end there, you know, like we have to continue to work and push ourselves, but we couldn't have gotten to this place without learning from others. And we, again, have had several sounding boards over the years who have helped us to continue to push ourselves. And we've learned yep. that we only have right now what we actually believe that we're worthy of. Right. And so the first mindset shift is to convince yourself, to make yourself believe that you are worthy of so much more. Right. You can have what you truly desire. That it's actually possible. Yeah. Because there was a point yeah. in my life where I didn't even think that it was possible to live in a tropical place, in a beautiful home, to travel, to eat good food, to yes, actually successfully eat a plant-based diet. I didn't even think that those things were possible until one day Aaron and I decided, why not? Let's just see, let's just go after it. And similar to not believing in moderation, you know, Aaron and I don't do things half-heartedly. We tend to go all in, whether it's planning a trip or yes, making a lifestyle change. And this going all in stems from, this stems from wanting to believe that anything is truly possible. So if you are feeling like us, if you're feeling inspired and moved to crush these popular opinions <laughs> along with us, yep. our membership is the perfect place because totally. Honestly, while we, yes, of course, push you guys to level up, we feel like so many of our members do the same for us. Oh, Hold 100%. us accountable. Help us to go all in, which is right. truly what the membership is about. It's yep. not just about food. It's about fitness and faith and spirituality and rest. Yep. Everything. We go live every Friday with our groups and they are almost always like, yes, we talk about food, we talk about health issues, we've had some people with type two diabetes chime in and other people helping and commenting on the board, but our live calls every Friday seem to go way beyond the kale. And we're helping each other on a personal level. These Zoom calls where we can see you guys face to face has been so energizing, not just for our members, but seriously for us. So to recap, moderation sucks. <laughs> Number two, no more living a little. I want to live a lot. <laughs> and number three, am I really giving it my best? Have I really tried everything? Right. Or could I possibly push myself just that little bit more? Again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know which unpopular opinion resonates most with you. Yes, and don't forget to sign up for our free seven day health transformation guide. We literally created that for you guys. And if you're interested, definitely check out the plant-based bundle. Just a couple days left, 50 bucks gets you so much goodness. You guys know the drill. Eat, move, rest your best. See you next week. Bye guys. Eat, move, rest your actual best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>